Let's go to the latest on Dak Prescott here for the Dallas Cowboys. Well, let's break it down, right? Adam Schefter says the Cowboys are hopeful about a contract extension. And Ian Rappaport of NFL.com says there's positivity around the, the talks and even a chance it's going to get done soon. The common thread right now, well, maybe. Also, worst case, the Cowboys will tag Dak Prescott if there is no long-term deal because he's a top-10 quarterback and you don't ever want to let those guys hit the open market because you don't ever want to allow the, the, the Cowboys to get themselves in a position where you're letting other people bid against you. So for Dak Prescott, the, the, the reality is here, you, 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 you have a top-10 quarterback, a awesome quarterback who is coming off of an injury, and that is fairly concerning, but the Cowboys keep claiming they want to get the deal done. And that is something that, that they want to have had happen. They've said that for years now. And they keep saying, well, we can do this. We think we can get it done. We just got to have something happen, blah, 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 right? The reality is, for the Cowboys and Dak Prescott, nothing has really changed yet. Could something change soon? I hope so. It sounds like these reports are indicating it's a little bit better than what it was last year. But it's tough to believe the Cowboys when they say, or, and leak, we're, we're optimistic. Because what they said last year, right? And it did not get done. Now for the Cowboys, the upcoming key date is the franchise tag deadline, which is supposed to be on March 9th. However, as we'll get into here more in depth, that might not actually be the case, due in large part to an un uncertainty around the salary cap situation, and the deadline might get pushed back altogether. March 15th is the opening of the legal tampering period for NFL free agency. March 17th is the new league year, and if you tag Dak Prescott, it is by that date that you must be under the, or, uh, under the salary cap for the upcoming season. April 29th, start of the NFL draft. Mid-July, we'll say July 15th, the deadline to extend a franchise tag player. So for the Cowboys, you got a couple different dates that matter to you a lot in terms of building your damn team. So will the Cowboys actually get this one done? Let me know what you guys think. Type in Y for yes, they will, or type in N for oh, no, they're not going to get it done. They're going to drag their feet, mess up, and become the only team to really lose a cons almost consensus top 10 quarterback. Get your votes in. Y for yes, or type in N for no. Now, I do want to emphasize this once again because people seem to forget it all the time. A deal, folks, is going to be expensive. It is also going to be less expensive than what it will be if you wait another year because this has been the trend for the Cowboys and some of the fan base out there. Oh, I don't want to pay Dak this amount of money. I'd love to get him at last year's market rate. The, the Getting Dak Prescott for around $35 million, that ship done sale, baby. It's done. I am talking a deal upwards of $40 million. That is probably what it's going to cost. Because if you are Dak Prescott, you're staring down a 38, almost 38, million dollar franchise tag. No reason to take less than that on a per, per, per year value when you are one year away from if he were to hit the open market, even if some of you guys don't like him that much. A top 10 quarterback under the age of 30? The hottest free agent in NFL history. A contract that would stun you guys given the way the salary cap is going to rise. If Dak hits free agency next year, get rid of the $40 million price tag, folks. You're going to be approaching $45 million. Mahomes money. Now, Dak's not worth that, but that's what it's going to cost. Because that is how the cornerback or the quarterback contract market works. It's to the moon. It only goes up. If the Cowboys want to get a deal done, what truly makes the most sense from a team building, from a salary cap, from a rush, from everything perspective, it truly is to pay him now. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. If you had paid Dak this time last year and you got that deal done at like 34, 35 million bucks. All of a sudden, you'd be feeling great about that because it wouldn't be top three, really. And you know who else is about, is, is about to get paid? Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, maybe Baker Mayfield as well. And those guys are going to get a bag as well. 
Manscaped.com slash chat. When you head over there, you will save 20% off and get free shipping. They are the sponsor of today's video. You can get the Lawn Mower 3.0. It's the number one men's grooming tool out there. Don't just ask me. Ask my wife. Ask producer Sam's girl. She told me how much she appreciates it when I use it. Manscaped.com slash chat. 20% off and free shipping. Producer Sam, not happy with me, but sorry, if, sorry I had to find out this way, buddy. It, what this allows, it allows you to use it in the shower. It doesn't cut or pull your hair. It's a very smooth process down there, but it does help you get a little tug or pull later on if you catch my not-so-subtle drift. If you get the perfect package, by the way, you can get the most comfortable boxers in the, known to mankind. I love them. They're worth the price of, of admission alone. A handy-dandy traveling carrying case as well. All their great products, not limited to just this stuff, by the way, folks, are available at manscaped.com slash chat when you use that link it'll be in the comments it'll be in the description as well you will get 20 percent off and you'll get free shipping on everything manscaped related the nfl franchise tag line is supposed to be on march 9th however because there is still no salary cap number set the nfl much like they did last year could choose to delay the franchise tag deadline now last year it was because there was no CBA, there was no collective bargaining agreement. But right now, because the cap does impact some players' tags, well, they might delay it a little bit. So because there's no cap set, and the deadline's supposed to be Tuesday, tomorrow, that, that deadline might get pushed back, which would buy teams like uh, the Dallas Cowboys some time to work out a long-term deal. Denver already tagged Justin Simmons, but they, they could make some sense there. The Packers and Aaron Jones, all these teams that could be in the market for adding or tagging a player are going to buy themselves some extra time. Now, I do want to make, make one note here on the salary cap in general. The NFL has zero reason to not make the cap flat because if you're an organizational team and you're trying to win football games, your best bet, unless you've got God's cap, which is like five teams out there, your best bet to winning th this year is a higher salary cap because that means you don't have to cut so many players. So if the NFL and the ownership pushes for a lower cap, which I think they are, I believe it's because the owners are getting a little bit greedy and want to pocket a little bit more money. The TV money's coming. It's going to explode the salary cap. Don't let it dip this year. Keep it flat. Borrow from the future if you need to. But that's the route I would go if I ran the NFL. 